Hey all you Minnesota Skinnies, this is Conman101 and welcome to a mental age test. So this is going to be something very interesting. I hope I get a good score. Oh, I, I, I think it goes like from 7 ranging to 66. So we'll, we'll, we'll just hope I get a good score here. Let's just give this a try. Okay, so let's just get this started. The, the actual site is mymentalage.com. Let me know in the comments what you got. Um, so let's get this started. Hope I can get a good score. So let's start this off. Life is fun while you make it or all about family. Um, I'm going to have to say life is fun because at this point in my life, that's really what it's about. Um, McDonald's is disgusting. I mean, I know I'm young, so I'm supposed to like McDonald's, but I think it's just disgusting. Like the food is just so packed with fat and stuff. It's just disgusting. It's not like I don't like fast food. I love fast food. I love Wendy's in in particular, but McDonald's are just disgusting to me. Okay, you have forgotten where you put your keys. Um, rarely I always put them down the same place. So, I don't have keys yet because I don't drive a car, but I would probably say rarely because I'd put them down in the same place. I'm not very forgetful, so I wouldn't really forget things very often. The current Prime Minister President looks... I'm still kind of trying to deny that... Donald Trump is the president, but let's just try to, like, assume he's some sort of position of power. He would look okay, because it's not like he's too young. He's not too old, either. Well, he's not, he's no Bernie Sanders. Um, the best thing on TV is, let's see, news, no. CSI, no. I don't really watch The Simpsons or Family Guy. I, I'd probably say something like The X Factor, those kinds of, like, real life shows where people are voted out and stuff survivor is probably my favorite show on right now um so yeah i'd say this the best way to become rich is to work hard that's what i would say because if you don't earn something there's n you really don't feel good about it winning the lottery wouldn't be fulfilling you think you'd get everything you want in life but if you don't work for something you never really earn it the ipad is expensive Hey, I have one right now. It's hot, you buy... Okay, I'm gonna say a cone with a chocolate flake. That sounds actually pretty good. Miley Cyrus is, like, so over. That would be, that would be my... I mean, I wouldn't say like so over. That sounds like so, like, stereotypical teenager. But she is kind of over. Okay, I've got 11 questions left. Twitter is... Okay. I don't, I don't really have Twitter. I, I have it but I don't really use it. I, I prefer just using Instagram. Birthdays are a time to meet the family, a time to get wasted, a time for presents, something to ignore, thank you. I'd say a time to meet the family, okay? You think a pension plan is not what I thought it would be. Um, Important, something worth considering, something for later. So I know what a pension plan is, but it's definitely something for later considering I'm only 15. Um, you are planning a house party, you think about telling your neighbors, make sure you've got enough chairs, find out where the cheapest vodka is, make a list of the people you aren't going to invite, or plan which games to play. So, the teenager answer I'm guessing would be plan which people not to invite, but I would plan, plan which games to play. I would I'd play all the games. You, according to them, you, Red Apple, have launched a new iPhone. Let's kind of switch the, the grammar there. You have read that Apple has launched a new iPhone. You think, not another one already, for sure. I mean, I have the 6S, and the 7 literally came out as soon as I bought it. I'm not really the kind of person, like one of the other um, answers here was, I have, I need one right now. Um, that's uh, obviously the teenager answer. I wouldn't really specifically want to buy one just because it came out new. If it has some like evolutionary new thing to it, then I would want it, but if it's just a new thing, like, 7 just has, like, low-light camera or something, it's not really worth getting a whole new one and spending all that money. You see someone fall over in the street. Do you laugh, run over to make sure they're okay, thank the heavens it wasn't you, or shake your head and think Muppet? If this is, like, someone slipping on ice or something, or just, like, tripping and falling, it's obvious that it was just an accident, I would laugh. So I'm going to say that. But if it's a more extreme case where they, like, collapse or, like, it doesn't look like it was 
on accident and they like actually just fall over and or or they slip and they're not getting up for a long time then I would go over and see if they're okay but if they just like slip on ice or something one, a one-time thing then I would laugh to be perfectly honest you find an old shirt in the wardrobe you um I would consider giving it to charity dire straits were or dire dire straight oh who is actually one of the questions I'm gonna have to choose that one I'm sorry I don't know who dire straits is is it like a rock band? I, I, I'm not really that into like earlier bands, so I wouldn't really know it that well. Baseball caps look better. I'd say forwards. I'm not a gangster. You finish your meal in a restaurant. You make sure you go to the toilet before you leave. Order coffees, empty the tray, empty the tray into the bin. I mean, what else would you do? Politically, you are, I am nothing politically. I, I, I don't care at all about po politics. I'm gonna have to figure that out eventually, but for now, I'll just choose a random one. I'll just be a liberal, I guess. Oh, okay, oh, okay, oh, okay. So, my mental age is 16. So that's actually really close. So apparently I'm one age above my actual age. So, I guess I'm right on with it. So, I'd actually think that, I mean, I wish the test was a little more specific because like what I said before the person falling over there's two different situations to that there's a more extreme situation and there's a less extreme situation so I wish they were a little more specific with uh with the answers but a lot of people would claim that I act a lot older than I am and I don't really think I do you know like I sometimes the way I'm talking you, you should know that the way I talk when I'm talking to you guys isn't exactly the way I talk when I'm with my friends because like I'm trying to when I'm trying to get my point across I talk a lot more formally to you guys so I don't talk this formal when I'm with my friends I talk a lot more like an actual teenager when I'm with my friends and everything but I, again I just talk more formal when I'm when I'm talking to you guys so I can get my point across a lot better but, I mean I'm glad I have a mental age of 16 like sometimes I wish I could have a more sophisticated outlook on things you know be a little more adult like but I mean I have to still be a kid I can't just think like a 30 year old I want to be a kid for a little longer because I know it's going to creep up on me and eventually I'm gonna be an adult and and I'm gonna wish I could do the things I'm doing now so I'm gonna just for now I'm just gonna enjoy being a kid so thank you guys so much for watching this video um, this is gonna be the day well maybe today and tomorrow are gonna be the days where I'm gonna be pumping out a whole lot of videos actually I think it's gonna be more tomorrow so I'll make a whole bunch of videos tomorrow so that I can upload those um, during the week and a little after the week that I'm gonna be gone for my trip because I'm gonna need some for my trip and for when I have a lot of makeup work in school after that I'm gonna need to do and I'm not gonna have time to make videos so thank you guys so much for watching this mental age test I will leave the link to this website for you guys to, to try it out. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please follow my Instagram for more updates on when my videos are coming out. And some more, you know, I'll just uh, upload stuff on there regularly. Um, and also follow my Instagram for pictures and videos about my Colorado trip. I'll try to post as much as I can while I'm there. So you guys can kind of feel like you're there. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please like and subscribe and I will see you on the flip side.